there's a place alive with the magic of imagination and all the colors of the rainbow. Well done. Bravo, bravo. There's a place where the heart and mind always play together. This is big. Ah, yes indeed. There's a place to learn from, laugh about, and grow with. I wish it. There's a place that's miles from the everyday yet so close to home. There's a place where friends are funny, furry, and often four-legged. There's a very special place just waiting for you. It's called ABC for Kids, the best in children's entertainment to take home on video today. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
road, Ooh. the gingerbread man met a purple spotted cow. Moo, said the cow. Stop, gingerbread man. Uh -huh. I should like to eat you. Uh -huh. mm. But the gingerbread man said... Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran. Ooh. Followed by the purple spotted cow. And the old woman running after him. She's going as fast as she can. But they oh. still couldn't catch him. Oh, yeah. mm. I'm going as fast as I can. Just then along the road came a oh, pink, yes. <laughs> pink pig. Ooh. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink. <laughs> gingerbread man, stop, stop. I want to eat you. <laughs> but the gingerbread man said... Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Off he ran by my pig, followed by the pink pig and the purple spotted cow. And the little old woman I, I, running I, after him. But they I, still couldn't catch him. I, I. Mm. Oh. I, I. And the little old woman. I, I. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and can't go any faster. Along the road he met a sly old fox. Oh. And the fox said, Ah, gingerbread man, I should like to uh, talk to you. Ah, but this time the gingerbread man said, Listen, you sly old fox, I've already run away from... Uh, oink, 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 uh, pi uh, pink, pink, pink. <laughs> pink. Uh, one of those. And a purple spotted cow. Moo. <laughs> those two. And an old woman. Bye-bye, <laughs> old woman. I've run away from all those people, and I am the fastest runner in the world, and I can run away from you, too. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran. <laughs> Followed by the sly old fox. <laughs> and he ran, and he ran, and he ran. <laughs> and the fox ran and ran. The gingerbread man ran, and he 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 ran. And the fox ran, ran, and ran. He ran, he ran, he ran. Oh, until suddenly he came to a river. Oh, no! said the gingerbread man. It's a river, and I can't swim. There, the fox said. Climb on my tail, gingerbread man, and I'll help you across the water. <laughs> there you go. There. Oh. The water's very deep, said the sly old fox. Climb onto my back, and I'll carry you across the river. Oh, there you are. Mm. The water's still very deep. You better hold on to my nose, said the fox. And then... <laughs> and the fox ate up the gingerbread man. <laughs> yum, yum. Oh. That's what should happen to all gingerbread men, isn't it? They should get eaten. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> Let's all go for a run, like the gingerbread man, shall we? Everybody running? Come on, you too. Come on. Let's go for a run. Everybody running, running, running. Everybody running, just like me. Everybody running, running, running. Everybody running, just like me. What about now? A wriggle. Wriggle all over. Come on. Everybody wriggling. You too. Everybody wriggling, wriggling, wriggling. Everybody wriggling, just like me.
Well, I'm going to try and sell all this junk. I'm very fond of these things in here. I've got a lot of old bits and pieces that are not much good to anybody. I don't think I'll sell them, but I'll try. Well, what's that? There's a stool there with one leg. You can't really sit on that without being uncomfortable. Yeah, you might <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> and there's an old lamp shade here, very pretty, but no middle. No. Think I'll be able to sell that? No. no. No, I don't think so either. And here's a gum boot. I need another gum boot to go with that for a pair. Well, I haven't got another one, so only one gum boot. I won't be able to sell that either, will I? Yeah. No. Really? Right. <laughs> right, short stalls ready, waiting for the first customer. Here come the thumbs up. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, dear. oh it's so oh, it's a cold wall. Oh. Have you finished? Oh. <laughs> um, Can I help you? Here's some it? interesting junk. Would you have an old umbrella I could buy? Well, it's a lovely day. You don't want an umbrella today, do you? It's pouring with rain outside. I'm soaked through. It's very, very wet. It is? Oh, right. Have you umbrella. got an umbrella? No, I haven't got an umbrella, I'm afraid. Oh, no, umbrellas. I know exactly what you want. How about that? <laughs> I mean, like that. <laughs> well, I suppose it's better than nothing. It'll keep you dry. A little bit of dollar, please. A dollar? Oh, a dollar. Well, a dollar fifty. Here you are, then. <laughs> Here's a dollar. Thank you. Thank you. I think, oh, who'd ever thought that I'd have sold that old store with, with one? Can I help you? Well, uh, oh, hello. hello. I'm, I'd like a hat. I'm really into hats. Are you really? Do you have any hats? Hats? No, mm. no, I'm sorry, no hats. Oh, no hats. Yes, I don't know what I can give you instead of a hat. How about um, oh. lampshade with no middle? A lampshade? What yes. would I do with a lampshade? <laughs> yeah. How about that? Oh, <laughs> that's lovely. Isn't that good? Yeah, lampshade. Oh, very that's pretty hat too. Great. Oh, listen, um, I've only got 50 cents. That will do I fine. That will do very nice. Thank right. you very much. Thank indeed. you. Have that's a nice terrific. day. Yes. Bye. Well, 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 I'm doing very well. I've sold a stall with only one leg and a lampshade with no middle to it. It's a very good one. Who I'll get next? I'm very happy about it. Hello, young man. Hello, sir. How are you? Uh, I, I bought you? these flowers for my wife. Oh, we don't buy flowers. No, I'm not trying to sell them. Yes, they're for my wife. Yes. And I wondered if you had a vase and some water so that I can put them in and keep them fresh. Because they're starting to vase. droop already. No, I haven't got any vases. That's something I haven't got. Oh. Nothing that you can keep water in? <laughs> no? Ah, oh, something to keep water in. Let me see here now. Um, uh, now I've got a kettle that's got a hole in it. That's what I'm going to Oh, now wait a minute. Uh, Dad, uh, let's see. How about a gumboot? <laughs> <laughs> what good's a gumboot? You can use a gumboot, can't you? I'll show you what you can do with a gumboot. Can you hold that for me? Hold it, yes. Go ahead. You're going to be a cup of tea. <laughs> you all right? A little bit more water. Now, can I have your flower, sir? Gumboot. Who would have thought of that for a vase? I would. But it works. <laughs> yes, it really does. A gumboot. Thank you. I'll have yeah. it. How much will that be? Thank no, you. no, it's for your wife. Have a nice day. Give it to her. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Goodbye. Pleasure. Have a nice time. Well, how about that then? I managed to sell uh, a stool with one leg as an umbrella and... <laughs> no, that was a lamp, a lamp shape with no middle as a hat. Over here is... Yes, this is the one. This is the stool with one leg as an umbrella. And somewhere up top is a gumboot for a vase. What a terrific day. Time for a cup of tea. A cup of tea? A cup of tea, please. That's a good idea. Shall we have a cup of tea, too? A cup of tea? Delicious. Mmm, mm, lovely. Let's do that again. Another pot of tea. Ready? I'm um, pressing. 
teapot. Yes, it's a teapot. I'm going to turn this into something else now. You watch. It's a monkey. A monkey. Yes. One day, monkey drew a picture of his mother. And it looked a bit like this. He was very proud of it. So he showed it to his friend, Owl. And he said, Owl, I've drawn this picture of my mother. How do you like it? And Owl said, well, her eyes are too small. What sort of eyes does an owl have? Huh? Big eyes. Big eyes, big eyes. I suppose you're right, said Monkey. So he drew great big owl eyes. And then he showed it to his friend, Elephant. And Elephant said, well, it's fine, but what do you think an elephant would want? A big nose, yes. So, monkey drew a great big elephant nose. There, look at that. <laughs> then, then he showed it to his friend, Crocodile. Crocodile. And Crocodile said, well, it's fine, but it doesn't have any teeth. Right, so Monkey drew a great big crocodile mouth with big, sharp crocodile teeth. <laughs> so, Monkey then showed the picture to his friend Giraffe. And Giraffe said, well, she doesn't have any neck. Right. So he drew a big, long giraffe neck. The next friend he showed it to was Rabbit. Rabbit. Yes, little Rabbit. Rabbit. And he said, Rabbit, I've drawn this picture of my mother. Do you like it? And the Rabbit said, her ears are too small. So Monkey drew big long rabbit ears. He took the picture home to his mother and said, Mother, I've drawn this picture of you. Do you like it? <laughs> and mother said, Of course. And she hung it on the refrigerator. <laughs> some other animals behind the door. Should we get them to come out? Would you like to see them? Perhaps I'd better find out what sort of animals they are first. Oh, they're really big animals with big ears and they've got big long noses like that. What are they? Right, elephants. Well, shall we call the elephants out? All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. After I count to three, you all have to shout out, come out, elephants. Will you do that? All right. After three, one, two, three. Come out. That's right. They are. <laughs>
going to see another animal. It's not quite as big as an elephant, but it's very big. It's called a hippopotamus. And Richard Bradshaw is going to show us the hippopotamus. So here's Richard. Now, here's the hippopotamus over here. It's a shadow puppet, which means that you see its shadow. I hold it against the screen like this, and there's a light on the other side of the screen, and you'll see the shadow coming through the screen. I've got some other animals inside there. There's an ostrich, which is like an emu, and there's a tiny little mouse. <laughs>
and jump. Yes, the needle and jump. Now, our song is going to be about a spider. You know that one? Yes. Wincy Wincy. I'll just go spout. Wincy Wincy spider. Crawling up the mountain spout. Found in the rain. And we watched for Wincy out. As you know it. Out came the sun to shine and dry it up all the rain. So, in. This time, have Jan, and where's Alistair? Oh, Alistair and Jan. And we need Jemima to help us with this song. <laughs> Just tell one what it is. Now, this song is about somebody who had a dolly who was very, very sick. That's right, Miss Polly. Will you help us sing it? Yes. Yeah. Dolly? Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick.
there's a bear in there and a chair as well. There are people with games. Open wide, come inside. It's play school. somewhere different today. This is the safari ride, and we're going up, 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 up. We're going up, we're going up as high as we can go. We're going up, we're going up. Now, see all right out there? Looking right across, you can see the blue water of the harbour, the trees all around, and the whole of Sydney. And can you hear down below? Hear some birds? I wonder if you can hear any other animals. Right. Well, do you know where we are? We're at the zoo. And I'm going up to meet the others. The zoo. Hello. Hello. Play school at the zoo today. There's mm -hmm. lots of animals to see. Now, we're meant to be meeting John in there, but uh, I don't know if he's here yet. How about we go and find out? side to side like a big elephant, like this. The elephant wobbles from side to side. He's terribly big and he's terribly wide. And people say wherever he goes, goodness gracious, what a nose! Ah! Oof, what a nose. See how the elephant can use its long nose to pick up things? It can use that nose to pick up food and put it in its mouth. Oh, or throw dust over its back to keep it cool. Well, elephants are pretty big, aren't they? They must need an awful lot of food. And there are lots more animals in the zoo. Oh, imagine how much they must all eat. Oh, look at all this fresh fruit. 
vegetables, eggs, everything. I eat well. Um, apples, oranges, oh, fresh fruit, vegetables, eggs, everything. Now this is the place where they get the food ready to give to the animals. Animals like chimpanzees, monkeys, orangutans, lots of different animals, and it's all fresh. And this is Hayden. He's a zookeeper who gets the food ready for the animals. How are you, John? I'm good, thank good. you. What have you got there? Some celery for the chimps. That's all right. And I'm some more bread for the chimps. Oh, there's everything I like here. And some grapes. Would you like one? What? Just one. Certainly. That one there? Yep. Terrific. And who's this one for? Right chimpanzees, excuse me. Mm. Chimpanzees. Mm. Mm. Chimpanzees get all that? Yes, all that. Mm. A question I wanted to ask. Is it all right for people who visit the zoo, who come to the zoo to see the animals, to feed the animals? No, only zookeepers, because the zookeepers know exactly what the chimpanzees eat. Right, good. All special, special oh. food for them. Oh, well, what do, I want? do you want me to do something? I'm going to help Well, out. you can carry the bucket for me if you'd like. What are you going to carry? I'll carry these two coconuts. I'll carry the... I'll take the... Do you manage those all right? Yeah, I think I'll be fine, thanks, John. I'll be, I'll be with you in a minute. I'll put it down there. Go see the chimpanzees. <laughs> you sure you're right with those coconuts? Go on. Here we are. Yes, I know. I've got the coconuts. Okay. Now this is the place where Hayden feeds the chimps. And I'm gonna help. Alright? I wonder if they're hungry. Do I just throw it? Yep, just a bit of Throw a killer for them? No, no, I'll do it. Oh, right. There we go. Oh, yeah, they're hungry, all right. They really are like people sometimes, aren't they? Walking on the two legs and catching them. It's holding it just like we hold it. Oh. Very tasty. Sucking the juice out of an orange. <laughs> and when they hold the food, they can put it in their feet and pull it apart with their hands. That's something we can't do. Well, even if we could, we shouldn't. Yeah. Got it. Oh, the whole banana. It's had enough to eat this one. The baby chimp's going to have a bit of exercise now. Aren't they good climbers? Oh, there's the baby on its mother's back. Hang on tight. Well, I think they've nearly finished eating now. A bit more. Oops. Shake, shake, shake. They really enjoyed all that food. And did you see the one, the chimp that was going, <laughs> shaking like that? <laughs> well, you have a shake now. Come on and shake, shake, shake. Come on and shake, shake, shake. Come on and try it. Let's all <laughs> shake, shake, shake. And have a scratch as well. Go on, enjoy yourselves. Go on. <laughs> Ooh. Something else scratching around. It's not a chimpanzee. It's got a long tail. Must be a... Mm -hmm. A monkey. <laughs> Can you see its long spidery arms and legs? The spider monkey. <laughs> Monkey swings from tree to tree, he's happy when people come to see. He jumps and jumps and plays about, and never minds when people shout. Monkey happy as can be, monkey swings from tree to tree. Hairy monkeys. Well, another hairy animal lives in here. A big brown hairy bear. This is a Kodiak bear, the biggest bear there is. And I think maybe somebody's put some honey on that log because bears love honey. So I think the Kodiak bear's licking all the honey off. And maybe a few ants as well. Mmm. 
at all that shaggy hair. And that is a hairy bear. And here's another hairy bear with big paws and great big teeth. teeth. Mm. I know a hairy bear, a very hairy bear, a very hairy scary bear. I know a hairy bear and she can growl like this. <laughs> for the story but what do we have before the story in play school that's right the clock another kind of flower clock it's the taronga zoo floral clock with lots of real flowers all around and numbers made with little pebbles see the long hands pointing straight up so it's something a clock and the short hands pointing to the that's the 11 which means it's 11 o'clock on the zoo clock. And on top of the clock, an elephant made out of a bush. Can you see the shape, big ears, and a trunk sticking right up? Here's another animal made out of bush. It's a bush kangaroo. You see its face up here, and these are its paws. There's a kangaroo in the story. Have you seen a kangaroo hop? They hop very quickly. Hop, hoppity, hop, hoppity, 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 hop. Now the story today is about a race between a kangaroo and a tortoise. And here's the tortoise here. Look at that hard shell there, and it's got rough skin. There's his head. They like to eat green things. They've got one, two, three, four legs. And the tortoise moves very, very slowly. Blonk, blonk, plonkety, blonk, goes the tortoise. <laughs> I'm a plonk, plonk tortoise with a hard shell on my back and a bag of delicious homemade green grass biscuits. Hop, 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 hop. Do you know what I am? I'm going to be the kangaroo. The kangaroo, but you can call me Roo for short. <laughs> and there's another character in the story too. It's an emu. And now, it's time for the story to begin. One day, a kangaroo met a tortoise. G'day, tortoise. Where well, are you taking that lovely bag of uh, green grass biscuits, huh? Well, I'm off to emus for afternoon tea with my uh, delicious green grass biscuits. Oh, are you really? Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to move a lot faster than that if you're going to get there before night time. You are the, the slowest creature I've ever seen. Is that so? Yeah. Mm, well, I'll race you there any time. <laughs> oh, really? OK. You're on. On the count of three, off you go. One, two, and three. Three, four, off you go. I don't have to hurry. Slowest thing I've ever seen. Well, Tortoise set off at a usual steady pace. Plonk, plonk, plonkety plonk. And went on without looking back or wasting a moment. <laughs> I can soon catch up with that tortoise. I'm much quicker than he is. I might just have a little rest here. <laughs> oh, favourite colour. So Rue lay down. The grass was soft, the flowers smelt very sweet, <coughs> and the sun was nice and warm. Before long, he was fast asleep. Tortoise plodded on. Plonk, plonk, plonkety, plonk. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time moved on. It was 
and Tortoise was ready for a snack. Without stopping, she nibbled on a green grass biscuit. She looked back to check if the kangaroo was racing up behind her. But Roo was still fast asleep. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time moved on. And it was boing, uh, one o'clock. Tortoise was getting hungry. Nearly time for lunch. Tortoise nibbled on another biscuit as she went along. She looked back to check if the kangaroo was racing up behind her. But Roo slept on. Plonk, plonk, plonkety plonk. And Tortoise plodded on. And tick tock, tick tock. Time moved on. It was nearly four o'clock. The shadows were getting longer and Tortoise was hungry for afternoon tea. Nearly there, she thought, and slowly plodded on. She looked back to check if the kangaroo was racing up behind her. Suddenly, Roo woke up and found the sun was already going down. I didn't mean to sleep that long. Never mind, plenty of time to catch up with that tort. <laughs> Tortoise, I uh, take a long time to wake up as well sometimes. I used to be a young kangaroo, but I can still catch the tortures. But Roo was too late. By the time he got to Emu's house, Tortoise was already there. Oh, how about you, Roo? Would you like a biscuit? Here we go. Oh. Oh. None left. <laughs> Lost your ears too, Roo. <laughs> the slow and steady Tortoise had won the race after all. And that is the end of the story. with my slow tortoise shell. Now I can run. Come on, you run with me. I can run as fast as you. I can run as fast as you. I can run as fast as you. Running on the spot. Come on, let's do that again. Faster this time. I can run as fast as you. I can run as fast as you. I can run as fast as you. Running on the spot. All right, now, stop. Sit down. We're waiting for a show to start. It's a very special show, an animal show. Now, I wonder if you can guess what animals we're going to see. I'll give you a clue. They've got flippers on the front and a tail, which I can't show you now. I'm sitting on it. And they also go a barky noise like, ah, no, rawr, 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 something like that. And they swim in the water. A seal show. That's what I was trying to be anyway.
ice cream tastes better than raw fish. It's a bit hard to balance an ice cream on your nose though, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone gets hungry at the zoo. Mmm, good tucker. I'd love a bit of tucker in my rumbly tummy. Rumbly, rumbly, tumbly tummy. I love a bit of tucker in my rumbly tummy. Rumbly, grumbly tum. This is Erina, and uh, we've got what a couple of ring-tailed possums with us. We do. This um, little one's mother was killed by a car, and that oh. little one's mother was killed by a cat. So we're looking after them until they're big enough to go and live in the wild again. Um, and what do they eat? We just at the moment they're still drinking milk, and as they get a bit bigger, they get flowers, and they're just starting to have a little nibble on things like that, and also leaves from trees, and. Um, so. Once they're really good at finding them, eating them, and uh, they're frightened of people again, then we can release them back to the wild. Ooh, this one's not very frightened of me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, are they girls or boys? This one's a girl and that one's a boy. That one is a little bit younger than this right. one. Let's see if they'll eat some of this uh, grevillea. Do you have any of that? They're oh. still a bit full from the milk, I think. Oh. Yes, I think they're a bit full. Not interested. They like being together. Are they? They're obviously friends, aren't they? Normally, the mother has twins, so oh. they quite like being together. And actually, they they seem much happier if they're mm. kept in pairs. Lovely, aren't they? All right. I think. I'll oh, just them put to go this back one back. Yeah, they get a get a little upset if they uh, can't find their pouch back sometimes. There's your pouch. Back mm. in your pouch. Come on. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Thanks, Erin. There you go. Mm. Nice and snug and warm in there. Lots of animals live in the zoo. Bears and tigers and elephants too. Chimps and a big kangaroo. Lots of animals, lots of animals, lots of animals live in the zoo. Well, we've seen lots of animals, haven't we? The camel and the uh, the elephants and the uh, <laughs> the chimps and the monkeys and the tortoise. There's another animal we haven't seen yet. Long neck. A big long tongue. I wonder if you know what it is. Giraffes. <laughs> Giraffes with long necks. Hayden's with us again. They have got long necks, haven't they? Mm. You, you've got to hold on really tight. Yeah. <laughs> strong, <laughs> strong teeth. <laughs> Must be a bit uncomfortable when you get sore throats, so though. That, that neck. <laughs> but the tongue goes round. You look carefully, you can see a big, long, sort of bluey, grey tongue. Ooh, Those tongues are very strong. And can pull the leaves off the trees with them. See, there's another giraffe over there going into their house. Got very long legs and they can run very fast. That giraffe is just over one year old. Very, very tall. Taller than a person. Long legs. And see that pattern? It's a bit like a, a jigsaw pattern, isn't it? 
each giraffe has a different pattern. Oh, bending right round with that long neck. See it's here. Got very good hearing. Big eyes. Having a look around. There's its long neck. It's got a sort of mane all the way down its back, isn't it? And hoofs, like a horse has. Off they go. Whoa. Big, aren't they? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of animals live in the zoo Bears and tigers and elephants too Monkeys and chimps and a big kangaroo Lots more animals, lots more animals Lots more animals live in the zoo But we haven't got time to see any more animals today It's already time to go, is it? Oh. Right. Goodbye! See you in play school next time. Bye. Bye. There's another one over another here. Another one over here. I Love might stay. I'll oh, come with you.